Hello there, everybody. This is Pinstripe Paragon. Welcome back to Let's Play Nino Kuni: Wrath of the White Witch. I'm actually back where I was in the last episode because of this guy. This is a pretty uncommon enemy called the Lumberwood. The main thing about the Lumberwood is it may not, it's not the best. I'm going to admit. Um, one thing about it is that it is has really high. Defense. But we did it. Ugh, I I have a couple on my other file. I don't like it that much. See, it might have good defense, but it's the, the gimmick with it. One of them, anyway, is that it is very very hard for it to level up. It takes many many experience points just level up once from like level 1 to 2 We're under attack. oh speaking of which I'm just gonna keep this battle in I got a dunce cap off screen and I forgot to mention it but in the last battle there was an Iron Man uh, I believe that's a new enemy I don't think we've seen one yet so just wanted to make sure you knew and okay I'm pretty much done here is the sharper part ready to run off? No, of course not. Um, let's see. Can I make any of those really good things? No, but I technically I could. I could. If I go to um, uh, what's it called? If I were to go to Tombstone Trail, where the casino is, then I could very well just get some crown berries. But, uh, do I want to? Not right now. So that's pr there's pretty much nothing else to do. Um, because we've turned in the uh, quest for the book. And basically the only thing I need is for Sharper Parper to metamorph. That's it. So, I'd say we are ready to head in to the final area that we need to go to. Hey, Kublai. So, we're ready. We're ready, alright. Yeah. Let's take a rest and get ready for this. It's gonna be crazy. It really will be. Marcus and I'm ready. Sky Squealer. Hmm. Okay. Alright, Marcuson. I'm ready. I've been ready. Ah. Hold on. Let me make sure all my equipment is up to date. Um. At the same time, because I know I'm not going to be using the Wispula and the Flash. Well, I kind of want to keep the Flash Fry in just as an experiment. So, I'm going to drop off the Wispy Log, because I know I'm not going to use it. Um, what other fami what it, do I want to replace it? I'm not sure. Um, this is a tough choice. It, it really is. Because there's I have so many choices, but I just don't know who to go with. Um... Let's see. How are we, what are they doing stat-wise? Um, gosh, I really cannot decide. There's, you know what? I will keep an open slot. Because there's going to be some pretty good familiars in this upcoming area anyway. So it wouldn't hurt. And I want you in there. I kind of... Do I want to? I mean, he's definitely getting better. But certainly, not as good as Wambo. I mean, Wambo, so OP. Well, part of that's because of his weapons. I mean, look at that. There's no way he's going to get hit. But he still will. Um, let's see, that's a plus 10 attack. I'll give that. I'll give it. I'll give something different to someone else. Um, you can keep that, I suppose. Um, you can actually equip medals, but I'm not concerned about that with you. Um, I'll go ahead and equip 
a royal spear, I guess, to you, and noble attire, I guess. Because just in case I were to switch, you know, uh, who has the dead man's duds? You do. Okay. Uh, what's your defense? It it's okay. It's it's okay. Um, do I have anything better attack wise? I'll go ahead and put the harrow thing on Cosmo. It may be a little bit of a boost, but it's still a boost. And one last thing. I do want to increase his attack slightly. So I'll give him a fairy chocolate and some milk chocolates. I'm pretty sure with the milk chocolate all I would need to do is um, just like fuse chocolate with milk and I will be stocking up on chocolates eventually but I just want him to get to 245 on the attack right now for his base. Alright, there we go. Uh, that's gonna be enough for now. I want to wait a little bit longer before I actually give everybody some form of treat because Eh, I just don't see a point right now. So it's just I know I'm going to be keeping Cosmo Chris. Friends, the time has come. Make ready to assault the lair of the White Witch. Yeah! Oliver, don't worry, P. It'll work. You'll see. Now, man. Drive the cannons! Fire at will! else think this is a bit too easy? It is strange. Why is no one fighting back? I'm going! Hey! Wait! I'm coming too! And so am I! But don't oh, wait for me! Hold on! Don't leave the hero behind! Is everybody ready? You're planning to fly through that hail of cannon fire, are you? Would you rather stay here? No, of course not! Wait! Do you have room for another? Because I mean to see this to the very end. Prince Marcus said? Okay, hop on board. Splendid! We're ready, Tangri! Alright, I am certainly ready for this. How did we get in here without any issues? I have no idea. Oh, well, that firepower, not a scratch on it. Just as I thought. It's invulnerable. No matter. The primary purpose of that attack was to unite our forces behind a common cause. Oh, really? Yes, I thought that might be the case. <laughs> you big liar! You were scared out of your wits! Scared? Me? <laughs> You're clearly hysterical! You guys! She's waiting for us. The White Witch. Cassiopeia. Yep. She's waiting. If you ever want to go out, just talk to Tangri again, and he'll he'll be fine. So, here we are. This is the Ivory Tower, and this is the last dungeon of the game. Exciting. Really exciting. I'm going to save my progress really quick, however. Um, I'm over this file. I don't want to overwrite one of these files just in case something happens with the recording because for some reason it's been doing that quite a bit recently um, I'm not really sure why so I'm gonna try and just explore this place to the best of my ability alright so we have a 
him paler right here. Sinister Sovereign Watch and this. a Nightshade. Oh boy. Lots of variety now. So these enemies are going to provide a decent amount of challenge um, throughout this bit, I think. Um, it, overall, at least with how my team is, I don't think it'll be that bad. It's just, I remember on my first playthrough, I had a bit of trouble with this place, going back and forth, you know, just trying to keep healed. But with the Radiant Blades, I doubt I would have too much of a problem with it. So here's another new enemy, the D Demoliceros and the Honky Tonker and a Paladin Partridge. The Honky Tonker is actually a f the other form of the familiar we're trying to get. Oh, sweet. I'm actually kind of glad that I have the Demoliceros. Demoliceros? I don't know. But the reason why is because, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the better attackers in the game, but it's not the best ed ed in terms of attack speed. So, we'll have to see. Luckily, I left the space for it. <laughs> Will it get the experience? No, because it's in the reserves. That's why. Alright. So, Sid leveled up. All right, yeah, of course I want to keep it. Oh wow, it can't, it can't even fit its original name in there. All right, let's see here. What are its stats? It's already level eight. What was I thinking? I don't know. Uh, I'll just give it something. Cause I kind of want to see how this thing can play out. You know, so I'll equip it to myself. Cause actually, I I like these enemies. I mean, familiars, apparently, so... It's really no big deal for Oliver to have one. Oh, hey, purple chest. Alright, another new enemy, the Bone Baron. I don't know, I don't think these guys are that tough. But, luckily, the Impalers are weak to physical attacks. So, that's awesome. Because that's... That's Cosmo Chris's main thing. Oh, Bone Baron's resistant to it. Of course, there's always a catch. But still, I'm actually doing much better than I thought I would. I kind of need to switch out Marcuson, though, because I need Swain to get some levels as well. I want to, I want them to be as balanced as can be. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what's in this purple chest. Use spring lock. When did I get Veil? I, I don't even remember that. That would have been so useful getting those treasure chests. A uh, set of Griffin's Talons. Oh, that's that sounds really good. Um, who would use it? You would. All right, not necessarily for you, but I will give it to the Vampire Bat. So, all right, all right, getting some good weapons. I'm really glad that I went treasure hunting though, because of that white stag's antler. I mean, wow. That's such a huge boost. I mean, holy crap, that was amazing. Okay, another new enemy, the Astrolynx, I believe. Am I right? Yeah. Alright. I believe these enemies here are actually weak to even stars, so I'm gonna try it just to see if it is. I still haven't used Thunderstorm, but uh, Marcuson has used it a little bit, so we've technically seen it before. And even star does decent damage. I mean, with it being a multi-targeting spell, it's certainly great in that aspect. Wow. OP. Nice Alright. Alright, good. He leveled up. But he still can't metamorph. Dang it. Alright, Link leveled up as well. But, um... Any treasure down there? No, so I'm just going to ignore you, because the treasure's right here. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! And it is... Suda Celestial Armor. Alright. Getting a lot of good equipment now. Um... Unfortunately, there's a huge loss in accuracy. So... 29 to 48. But again, the defense, though. I guess it'll have to do. For now, anyway. I'm sure the... 
I'm sure Jules will get more accuracy as time goes on, but I don't know, man. That might... that I think this is actually the familiar that I need for the sharper parper. If this is the... Oh, no, that's the honky tonk. That actually was not um, one of the familiars that I need. Oh, well. Oh, another new enemy. Um, but what's in here first? Okay, that's actually somewhere where we can go. That's actually a teleporter in there. But first, we gotta fight some Mahanahas and a Mermite. Mermite is obviously the other form of the Mite that I didn't choose. So, I honestly don't have an opinion on it. I never used it. Um, I tried, but I just couldn't see myself using it, at least in this playthrough. Maybe for like some bonus episodes I'll like show off some form of like the other familiars, maybe. I don't know. Um, I guess I could head in here and then see what awaits me. I don't think I can really progress that much farther from this teleporter. I think I'm it might just be like a little bit, but not the whole thing. Yeah, it just leads up here to a treasure chest, which is a great sage's secret. I'll take it. Sweet. Something I want to make sure I do while I'm here is that I want to make sure I go every place. Because I believe if you explore every part of it completely, then you can get a trophy. I might be wrong, but I don't know for fact, so. All right, well, I was just looking at the completion just to see how we were doing. Oh, another new enemy. I'll, I'll battle this. And it is a Neolith. I, again, I don't know if this thing is any good. I've never used... Well, okay, I tried using a monolith before, like, early in this playthrough, I think. But... I obviously didn't stick with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take out the Honky Tonker before I try and take out the Neolith. Oh, yeah. Alright, everybody go! Uh, Power Rangers! Oh, sweet. Early gig. Uh, come on, guys. Attack. No, you want to. And oh, what an attack! What an attack! Alrighty, here we go. All right, Demolicero leveled up. Oh my God, that defense and attack—that really went up. Damn, that's crazy. All right, oh, I I need to heal Esther though. And, alright, let's see, I, I do just want to make sure that I go down here, just for this little bit, because every little bit counts! The Sharpie Parper just won't level up, just doesn't want to. Yeah, there's nothing down here, but I needed the extra step, so, just want to make sure I did it. Alright, luckily I was able to get past the Bone Baron, and, alright, that's pretty much it for this area, like this, oh my god, no, come back, come back, you're kidding me, oh my god, the reason why I wanted to fight that thing so badly is because that's a Dakota Cold, you want to know what that is? That enemy is the absolute best experience farm in the game. Can't get any better than that. Your characters will most likely get level ups just from beating that once. It's really freaking rare and only appears here. It takes many tries to get to, and even then, it runs away really quickly. Yeah, you, you might be able to get to one, but beating it can be 
its own battle. You know? All right, what's up here before I head back down? Oh, no, 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 no. oh my god, you're kidding me. Oh my god, this place is handing my ass to me. All right, but what's over here? Uh, that's right. We gotta go this way first, just because up. If you go north, you'll find the way you need to go. Oh my God! Finally, I can metamorph the Sharpie Purpy, or whatever it's called. Oh, thank God! I've been waiting for this day for so long, and luckily, I have the Jumbo Star Shop. So. The Honky Tonker is what we're finding now, but we need the Trumpy Pumper. Oh, yes. Finally. I wanted to see this thing ever again. That was a weird metamorphosis. I can't believe that guy wants to see this, but whatever. Oh my god, I got so much good stuff. Uh, before I move on, I want to switch this with, um, Lamal. I want to make the other double, double lemur. Uh, anything down there? Nothing but completion stuff. Actually, I think I am supposed to go down here. <laughs> Yay. Alright. Oh, Honky Tonker, you gotta remind me. Oh my god. Alright. So, let's head through here, see what we can find. I believe this is actually where we need to go, unfortunately. Oh, no, it's not. It's the other side of the hall with nothing. Wonderful. Actually, this is a completely different thing. This is a different room. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Oh god, that thing's moving. That scares me. Um, I guess not. So, let's head back in here. And then... Gosh, what do I want to do? I guess I will... Try and head up. Because that's pretty much the only way we can go at this point, is up. Okay, Bone Baron, screw you. If I can find a Dakota Cold, I would be so happy. Oh no, oh no, run! <clears throat> God dang it. Watch this! Oh, a new enemy. I didn't even notice. Um, it's the tro Tropical Bubbid. Um, probably the same as all the other Bubbids. Uh, is it weak? It's got pretty good defense I'd say but overall I think it's pretty easy and oh fudge that's not good I need him to mourn star the nightshade right now I think it's weak to it but I don't know oh no 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 this ain't good okay it's almost dead that's that that is good uh, cheeseburger too much loss for Tika Mahala all right here we go Cosmo Let's see, take out the nightshade. And. Alright, there we go. Let's do this. Come on. All out. All out. Go, go, go. Go! Yes. Alright. I was worried for a second because I'm pretty sure he. That. That Paladin Partridge might have. Um. A. What am I trying to say? It might have. Trying to say, might have an insta kill move. So yeah, I wasn't too sure. All right, so down here there is nothing, but up here, I oh god, yeah, you can fight these guys. You can't tame them though, so they'll. Eh, dreams are shattered, and I didn't heal. Oh fudge! Kidding. Me. Defend, you two. Defend. Heal yourselves. They won't heal each other. Great. It's wonderful. I guess I'll be taking on the magic mech myself. I mean, they're not... This one isn't bad. There are a few forms to be had, though. 
Um, two or three, I think. Not including that one. And, alright, Lamal levels up, and no metamorphosis for him. Oh. Yeah. These things will attack you. They can... They have some really annoying moves, I'll say that. Um, especially some of the later ones. But... Normally... You'll only have to fight one, if any at all. So... I guess that's not terrible. And in here, there might be another form that comes out. I don't know if this room has any. Oh, there it is. Whee! Oh god. Oh god. What is this? Do this. I don't even know. The Manic Magic Mech. Okay. It's just a little bit stronger, but I think it's mainly just a factor of HP. And he is attacking more, that's for sure. I need to heal myself. Alright. Oh, they are weak to water. So that's good. Okay, Ray Gun. That is a bit of a tricky move. Because it's basically like Death Beam from uh, Dragon Ball Z Frieza. Um, but the, these guys aren't the worst of them. So don't get your hopes up that it gets any better from here. And... Sweet, Flinty's really leveling up quickly. Alright, a treasure down there. We're probably going to have to fight another one of these guys to get it, though. Yep, thought so. And for our efforts, we get Sprite Dew. Was it worth it? I guess we'll see. Oh, I need to uh, heal Marcus and... Alright, I actually leveled up in that last battle, so that's awesome. I'm probably going to end off the part once I get to a save point, which we should be nearing. I believe it's down here, and... Yeah, it's right there. All you gotta do is just do this, sidle over, and then... Yeah, swiggity swag. Oh, yes. Go. Come on. You can do it. I don't know what's more annoying, Wind Waker sidling or this sidling. And, okay, it's done. Before I end off the part, I want to switch in some familiars. Definitely that. And who would I want to bring in to replace it? It's a really good question. I don't really know. I kind of want... Nah. Nah. Um... Perhaps... Nah. Oh, this one's slightly better. It's much better, actually. Than this. Uh... Well, other than the accuracy. I guess... I don't know. Do I want to take the AC along? I don't know. I'll... I'll just hold off for now, and I'll see what happens. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Nino Cooney. Cooney.